This is a short demonstration of uh, using membranes with the higher order programming environment. As you can see from this Wikipedia page, membrane computing is something that's been used in biological processes. And the best way to define it in very simple terms is what I've highlighted here. The membrane provides for selective communication between two regions. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to drag and drop two receptors, which we've seen in the earlier videos. One is the logger and the other is the heartbeat receptor. The heartbeat simply issues a hello world and the logger emits the message. Now this is all pretty straightforward, but let me drop the exact two receptors again onto the surface. Now you notice the interconnectivity. We have two heartbeats communicating to two loggers as carriers are cloned for every receptor that is interested in that message. So this isn't necessarily what we may want. So instead what we can do is draw a membrane around both of these. Now the outer membrane being the skin is now isolated from the inner membrane. We could also draw a membrane around the items that were in the outer membrane and or the outer skin and now we have two membranes. The membranes can also be inside another membrane. Membranes can be dissolved simply by shaking them. And I'm going to get rid of these two because I want to show you something else. We can also remove a receptor from inside the membrane by sort of shaking it up and down. Now you'll notice here the heartbeat is in its own membrane and the logger is in the outside and there's these carriers being accumulated on the inside of this membrane. We can double click on the membrane and in this case we have one protocol and it's an outbound protocol and we can enable the membrane's perme permeability so we can say this membrane is permeable to this message and once we do that all those messages can now be moved to the outside of the membrane and processed that way. Conversely if, for example, I get rid of that membrane and put a membrane around the, this, around the logger, now these heartbeat messages need to go into the membrane around the logger. So you can see now that the system knows that there is a deb debug message direction going into the membrane, and again, we can enable that and now the heartbeat, which is on the outside skin, can communicate to a receptor inside a membrane. Now earlier, in a previous video, I had demonstrated how if we have a thumbnail viewer, and let's say we have two of them, and if we want to prevent communication from one thumbnail viewer, we needed to disable it. Well, now, using membranes, we can isolate each of these receptor systems, if you will, and by dropping a carrier inside the membrane, it communicates only with the receptors contained within that membrane. So this is a different way of selectively operating on specific regions re or receptor regions. So for example, one other thing we could do is remove the image viewer from each of these membrane areas and we'll actually get rid of this one completely and now we could wire up each membrane to send its images outside of the membrane. Double click on the membrane and we'll pick view image out for this membrane and view image out for this membrane and now they are both talking to the same image viewer. If you have a membrane, I'm sorry, if you have a receptor that you want to drop into a membrane, you can drag and drop it directly into the membrane, or you can drag it, if it's already on the outer surface, you can drag it into any of the membranes and it is now enclosed. And then as I mentioned before, shaking it up and down pops the membrane out one level and horizontally shaking a membrane dissolves the membrane to its outer level. So that concludes this demonstration. Um, it's very brief, but uh, I think it demonstrates some interesting features that one can work with with receptors.